This week on Tall Tales, we're gonna test whether or not you can tell the difference between a buck track or a doe track. In my opinion, most people don't know the difference. Yes sir, I believe I can tell the difference between a doe track and buck track. And hopefully by the end of all this, we'll have an answer to the age old question whether or not you can tell the difference between a buck track and a doe track. Well, when all of the data was compiled, we had a very clear answer. On average, as a group, you guys got We've all been in the woods with that friend who has been adamant that they can tell the difference between a buck track and a doe track. Or they swear up and down that a track is a buck track. Or that it's only a doe track. Or, if you're like me, I don't necessarily believe that you can tell the difference between a buck track and a doe track. I think that you can tell the difference between a big track and a regular sized track. Generally speaking, a big track is gonna be a buck, a big buck, but you don't know, it just has a big foot. We were wondering to ourselves, why has no one ever tested this old saying out? So we have devised an experiment and a plan to do just that. between a buck track and a doe track. Yeah, I'd like to think I can tell the difference between a buck track and a doe track. Yeah, I think I can tell the difference. I can tell the difference. Yes, I think I can tell the difference. Not unless it's unless like Unless it's obvious. I would huge. agree with him on that unless it's completely obvious. A lot of times you'll see a big, big, big track and you're pretty sure it's buck, unless it's just a huge doe. But I'd agree with him on that. There's a few that are so big that you can tell it's a buck, but 98% of the time I would say no. Uh, typically the size mainly. Um, obviously if it's a huge track, it's most generally gonna be a buck. The split toe, uh, a wide gap between the two toes typically is uh, means it's a buck rather than a doe. And deep depression on the dew claw is typically deep, uh, refers to a buck rather than a doe. At least that's what I, that's what I look for. Now their dew claws are lower on a buck. Well, biggest thing is, is when they walk by, if the deer has antlers, and then I look at his footprints, it's a buck track. The size and the dew claw marks. I don't believe that most tracks you can look at and say that's a buck or a doe. To test this tall tale, we have contacted a high fence operation in southern Oklahoma who is gracious enough to let us come down and perform this experiment at his facility. In my opinion, after raising deer for 15 years, that uh, most people don't know the difference. Uh, sometimes I think I do, sometimes I'm right, sometimes I'm wrong. I think it's kind of funny when I hear all the different opinions and thoughts and experts in their own minds tell me they can tell the difference. I would have to assume that people believe that they can tell a buck and a doe track apart because of the a buck typically weighs more than, than a doe field dress that they've experienced in, in their hunting career. And so they would assume that a buck would, you know, with the, with the higher weight, transfers more weight into, uh, into the ground, causing the dew claw to come in contact with the ground more often than a doe would. I think the common person believes that uh, they can tell the difference between a buck and a doe based you know, on what they've been told for years by their grandparents. Just like humans and any other, anything else out there that has a foot, it can vary greatly just based upon genetics, not necessarily the, uh, the sex of the animal that made, made the print. They just assume that from birth, the, the male deer are always gonna weigh more. In, in my opinion, people probably hang their hat on this theory of being able to tell a buck versus a doe track just because that's what they've always been told. Unless I see the animal in the tracks, then I'm not gonna say a difference between the two. I'm excited to see the results of this experiment just because I've always um, assumed that you can't tell the, the sex of the deer based upon the track. And you know, I hope they prove me wrong. Now being at a high fence place, we're able to control what deer make what track. We're able to move deer from one pen to another pen, we know that this track is a doe, we know that this track is a buck. Our test subjects, who are among the most opinionated people and most confident individuals I've ever met in my entire life, consist of my family and my friends. Yes, I do believe I can tell the difference between a buck and a doe track. I don't think you can tell the difference. I believe I can. Yes, sir, I believe I can tell the difference between a doe track and a buck track. I think I could tell most of the time. I believe I can tell the difference between a buck track and a doe track. Yes, I believe you can tell the difference. Sure, yes. No, I don't think so.
if you or your friends have an idea for another hunting, fishing, or outdoor tall tale, look us up on social media, send us your idea, and maybe it'll end up on the next episode of Tall Tales. Well, when the experiment begins, each subject's gonna be driven around in the UTV in order not to disturb the deer. They're also gonna have a clipboard with a piece of paper that has the track number and a column for buck or doe. There are 30 tracks, 15 buck tracks, and 15 doe tracks. Inside of those 15 buck tracks, we've included five tracks that are specifically from a giant whitetail. We wanna find if there's a grain of truth between whether or not you could tell the difference between a big buck and just a regular deer. And hopefully by the end of all this, we'll have an answer to the age old question whether or not you can tell the difference between a buck track and a doe track. When you find a flag, say flag number six, you look, you determine whether it's a, you try to determine whether it's a buck or a doe, find six on a piece of paper, mark whether you think it's a buck or a doe. That's how it's gonna work. We're gonna go in a couple different groups in order not to spook the deer. We're gonna have to have, to have a couple different groups on the gators and we'll get this thing going. size of track and the split of their hoof. Well, I guess a doe track would be kind of a, a, a smaller, a more triangular, and then you a buck track would ha probably have the, the widened out, and then you've got your two, I forget what they're called, dew claws. Well, I think they're normally looking for how deep the impression is of the print, uh, if it's spread out or not, and I think the, the dew claws. As a general rule, they'd be splayed farther, dew claws, but the main thing I would look for is size. If it's a heavy, heavy deer, width of the track, the claws, the claws on the backside. To see how um, the front of the track and the back of the track, how the width is different. Always just look for the dew claw. That's it. What'd you get? What'd you get a huh? You said a buck on what? On twenty-four. A buck. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I uh, never. Well, we just finished the experiment. We have all the data in right now. Uh, now it's just a matter of going through, checking uh, their answers with the actual master list, and uh, we'll formulate a score for each one, average the score out. And basically, we'll have a, uh, a result at the end of this. So if it's anywhere around 50%, then this, this tall tail is uh, not much merit. So we will see. The highest score, I will reveal that before anything. The highest score was Mr. Buck Wooten. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> by, <laughs> by, <laughs> by a fairly, a fairly reasonable margin, honestly. On average, as a group, you guys collectively assess the, the track as the correct track 51.5% of the time. The exact same as a coin flip. <laughs> the exact same as a coin flip. <laughs> and then there was, there was one pin right here by the, the big buck. All five of those tracks came from the same, that same buck. And out of those tracks, you guys got 53% of them correct. <laughs> well, there was one track that every person in here got wrong out of that big buck. It's 260 inch deer, whatever, 200, mid 200 inch deer, giant body deer. And there was one track that everyone got wrong and they got fooled on. But just as a, a general rule of thumb, it was 50% across the board. So thank you guys for participating. That's pretty definitive right there. Yeah. Out of almost 300 tracks, it's right at 50%.
it was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Changed my perspective, that's for sure. Pretty tricky. Pretty tricky. So uh, I learned a lot today. We miss them every now and then. Everybody's not perfect. I thought it was great. I thought it was fun. Learned a little bit. I, I guess I was wrong on the track thing. I would have thought I would have done better than 50%. I, I felt like I didn't have a clue going in, and I feel like you don't really have a clue going out. Is this gonna is this gonna change your mindset in the future at all with the new track? No. <laughs> I feel like you can't tell either way. I'll second guess anytime I try to judge uh, what I'm tracking based off of deer tracks. No, if they got horns, I'll shoot them. Eh, probably not. Kind of used to it, you know. You just go with it. it may look, change how I look at them, but I'm still gonna lie to my kid and tell him I can tell. <laughs> Well, when all of the data was compiled, we had a very clear answer. 51.5% of the subjects answered correctly whether or not it was a buck track or a doe track, which coincidentally enough is the exact same as a coin flip. The big buck tracks, the subjects only answered correctly 53% of the time. I did anticipate that number to be a lot higher. I thought you'd be able to tell the difference between a big buck track and a regular track, but I was blown away. We walked into this pen that only had a giant mega buck in it. The size difference between the tracks of one deer in one pen in one day, it blew my mind that I was looking at the same deer, let alone a mega giant body and a mega giant racked deer. Every one of our subjects either got 14, 15, or 16 tracks wrong. There was one standout that got 11 wrong, so he got 19 correct. But the point is, I think it's pretty definitive that the tall tale of telling the difference between a buck track and a doe track is exactly that. It's a tall tale.